welcome back to our channel. I'm Paloma for those who do not know me. I have my sister slash grandma next to me. Hi guys. And today we are going to be preparing some deep fried quesadillas. quesadillas. These are bloody delicious. I guarantee you guys, if you guys oh try God. this, God. you guys are gonna love it. <clears throat> so for today's ingredients, because you talk too much, are Ma sa the white one. Yes. Because I believe there's a yellow one too, huh? Yes. So the white masa. Mm hmm We got four different types of salsas. Um we got onion, tomato, Monterey lettuce. Jack cheese, lettuce. We got some more uh fresh cheese from Mexico here, sour cream, and of course our, our beef. beef. So let's get started. Oh, we forgot one more ingredient ingredient one more um, tool that you will need this is a must you need this, this is an antique <laughs> that you can tell but you're gonna need a masa presser I don't know that's what it's called but a tortilla maker mm -hmm. so you're also gonna need that See you guys in our kitchen to show you the next step. okay so now we have made it to the kitchen and to know if our oil is hot enough I'm gonna grab a little piece of masa Throw it in there, and as you guys can see, it's flowed up real quick. So now that lets me know that my oil is nice and hot and ready to start. So what I did, so I won't take up too much time, I already have some of these rolled up, but the size you approximately use is about this much, and you just roll it out and just flatten it out a little bit. And there you go. So I have a few of them rolled out. Now what I'm gonna do, so now what we're gonna do is we're just gonna go ahead and press down. You don't wanna press too hard either. So this is what you guys don't want, but I'm, you know, sadly it happened wah, to me. Wah, wah. Now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna grab a little bit of beef. Put some, it looks like a little, you don't, well it is a little, you don't want too much and over stuff them. Stuff it, yeah. So we're gonna grab a little bit of cheese, a little bit more cheese. Should be good. And now what we're gonna do, not take it off, we're just gonna close it. And you wanna seal where the meat and cheese are at. So now you're just gonna flatten it out on the sides. Don't wanna have any air bubbles or anything. So just flatten it out. And this is how your quesadilla should look. Now we're gonna go ahead and Throw it in the oil. And there it is. Now let's start on number two. It's a really nice golden brown, not burnt or anything. It's it's perfect. It's beautiful. Gotta be bougie. So my first step, how I prepare my quesadilla, I put some sour cream. What do you do? Well, we do a little bit of sour cream so the lettuce could stick on. A little! <laughs> and then, lettuce. The lettuce. I like lettuce, so I'm gonna put. We put a, a good, buttload of lettuce. Make it look beautiful. Okay. 
So I, the majority, I cover my thought. Well, I keep on saying taco. My quesadilla, I covered in lettuce, and then we grab some of this salsa. It gives it flavor, and if you guys don't want it to be like super hard, or anything, you guys don't like spicy uh, salsas, this is good. This is good. It has no chile at all. It's just tomato, onion, garlic, and garlic. You blend that up and just throw in some water. I like to put a buttload on it because it gives it like that really good flavor. So it's my turn. Okay, and then I'm gonna add cheese. Add this cheese. But yeah, we sprinkle a little bit. <laughs> okay, there we go. Then we grab a little bit of tomato or how much tomato. tomato first. So I'm going straight to the onion. Grab a little bit or a lot. Depends how much you, you guys like it. I'm an onion person. And then I'm gonna go with every salsa that we got in here. These so I do put a little on. bit. Focus. Yeah. Okay. I'm going in with the green salsa. And guess what? A little more damn cheese. Whoops. Come on. Paloma does it. Whoops. And then to top it off. More sour cream. A little Boop. of sour cream. A little bit. Oh. And this is how my <coughs> quesadilla looks like. Looks delicious, doesn't Until it? Until it falls. No, I know. <laughs> Just put this quesadilla to the taste. Let's see how Paloma did on this one. Gotta roll up the sleeves. To get it. It's fired up. <laughs> oh man, this is gonna burn my garganta. Green salsa or red salsa? Oh, my mouth is on fire. No. 10 out of 10. Yep. Yeah, you guys can see mine got a little soggy because of all the salsa I put. That. That's just my taste. Man. And you guys can tell. Oh, I put salsa on my nose. <laughs> oh. stuffed already but these are delicious if you guys try this at home you guys are gonna love them love them these salsa are spicy if you guys would like for us to do a video on our salsa please let us know in the comments down below and we will be more than glad to show you guys how we prepare these delicious salsa so we have come to the end of our video. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys enjoyed it, please, please give us some likes. If you guys are new here, please, please subscribe to our channel. Don't forget to turn on your post notifications so you guys can be notified when we upload new videos. Video. Don't forget to follow us on our social media. We do have Facebook and Instagram as Los Recanos. We will be leaving it down here below. And give me a few minutes. I'll be right back. To okay, and I am back. But here it is we have this beautiful conspiracy palette as a giveaway right now on our Instagram so if you're not following us follow go us. ahead and follow us now this is the palette we do have as a giveaway right now this is 100% authentic this is how this looks when these came out I purchased two because we wanted to do a giveaway eventually with this one, and I think it is time. So if you guys would like the chance to win this palette, follow us on Instagram, and the rules are on our Instagram. So see how to win this. It's a beautiful palette, and let me tell you guys, this is a beautiful, amazing palette. I love doing my makeup with this. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and see you in our next we'll see one. you guys in our next video. Bye!